Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on the overview training of SAP Datasphere. In this series of videos, we are learning about how to work with Datasphere and get acquainted to the data warehousing solution in the cloud. By far in the last episode, I taught you how to integrate SQL script with data flows in Datasphere. If you're enjoying this series, please share, like and subscribe the channel. So that you will get notified whenever I upload free videos like this on our channel. Kindly share this video with your fellow colleagues in the WhatsApp group or on the messaging apps so that they can also take advantage of this free Datasphere training. Having said that, let's get started with our today's episode. Our today's session, we will talk about working with data marketplace. As the name suggests, marketplace. Just like you go for weekend shopping on a marketplace to buy fruits, vegetable, staples and grocery items from a supermarket, on a very similar way, we can go and browse data products available on a marketplace. Many a times, the data which we require for our data analysis, data cleansing or data joining is not available with us in the data sphere. We would like to go and explore is there somebody else who have prepared this data in the past for us we can download that data and then reuse that in our analysis and joins that's where the concept of data marketplace comes into picture some of the data available on the data marketplace is free however there are some data available on paid basis starting from currency rates to exchange rates Cryptocurrency prices to stock prices, some deep analysis done or research being done on different topics to plain data, dimensional data available or master data available on the marketplace, you can download and reuse them. So let me show you how can you access today the free data from data marketplace. I would want to go and download free data from SAP data marketplace regarding cities. I want to download cities and their populations. So I switch over back to SAP Datasphere and I go to the landing page of Data Marketplace. This is my starting point for accessing any data available free of cost or paid version on the system. And now I can go back and switch for searching for data. Let's say cities. You can see here there are many of them. I will probably pick up this one and there are 41,000 different cities data available on this data marketplace. It's a product which is published by somebody. Let's see how much is caught. It costs me. So it costs me free of charge, which is very good. And you can also have a look at the sample data. There are a lot of cities, their latitude, longitude, country and country codes along with the, along with the population of the city. Fantastic. I like this data. It is part of data category, region, country, city, and there are terms and condition, and it is available for free. It's the time that I go back and say load for free, and system will start importing this data free of cost on my data sphere environment. So you need to first choose a space where you would want to import this data. So I will just use the F4 help to specify my space. ID, I select my space ID and finally trigger the load. So load product. So right now I'm not doing it because I have already done it because it takes time after you uh, trigger the load. Yes, it takes time. So I've already done that. That's why I'm not doing it. But let me show you once it is downloaded how it looks. So I go to data builder and then in the data builder, you will see that world cities by DCA is available in my space. You can see. This is the data I've got from the data marketplace. So it's free. You can give it a try. And now you can see all the data is available. You can view the data. And this is the data which you can then use in your analysis. And that's what we will exactly do in the next episode. In the next session, I will show you how to use this data to combine this data with our existing data in data sphere. So I already in the last episode showed you how to fulfill a table with the data flow using the aggregation and SQL script. So we will be joining this particular data with that data 
in our system. Cool. So that is all about a overview on data marketplace in SAP Datasphere. All right. So that comes to the end of this episode. I hope you're enjoying this video series with me, Anubhav, on SAP Datasphere. So I would request you to kindly share this video with your fellow colleagues and also subscribe the channel if you have not done so, so that you will be notified automatically once I upload the next video on this free series. Once again, Anubhav signing out. Look forward for live training on SAP Datasphere. Watch out on anubhavtrainings.com. You can also send us an email on contact at anubhavtrainings.com for a detailed corporate training on SAP Datasphere. Thank you so much. See you and goodbye.